Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Great. Would you like to do an interview before you run or are you gonna you wanna get going on it? How long will it take? Five minutes. Sure. Yeah? I okay. Can, is three minutes okay? I can try it in three. Let's do it. Okay. Let's do three. Are you okay if I record it? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, I'm Anthony. Hi Anthony. What's your name? Emily. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Is it the traditional spelling of it? E M I L Y. Okay. Yes. What is this for? I have a hobby where I'm doing something called street epistemology. Okay, cool. And I investigate beliefs that people think are true. Okay. Can I, I'm gonna just throw this camera on me. Sure. Okay, so people can get two views. Okay, cool. So three minutes. Sure. What belief do you have that you really think is true that we can explore by me asking questions to see how you concluded that it's actually true? I'm a Christian and mm. I love Jesus. Okay. Yeah. Great, great, great. Yeah. Jesus. Um, what would you say is the main reason why you are sure that it's real? So multiple things. I grew up in the church and I originally thought that's why I thought it was real, mm -hmm. um, to walk with Jesus and to know Jesus. But it really wasn't until college that I realized that I was just riding on my family's own beliefs. And so it wasn't my own mm. beliefs. Mm. And when I came to college, realized that I had the opportunity to have a relationship with Jesus instead of just knowing about him and trying to do good things and be a good person. Ah. And um, when I came to college, I realized that not only did he die for me to save me from my sin, but that he would die for me to have a relationship with himself. And so mm. um, I would say that I believe that to be true because um, of scripture. I believe scripture, the Bible to be true, but also from personal experience, right? Oh, a couple reasons then, huh? Yes. So personal experience, um, my own story, I've just seen things, miracles happen where there's no explanation of, okay, mm. there's got to be something bigger. And, mm -hmm. Yeah. If all the instances where you've seen miracles and then you've concluded that it was Jesus who was doing the miracle. Yeah. If all of those instances didn't happen, mm -hmm. if you didn't have those personal experiences, would you be just as certain that the God was real? Yes. Okay. Yes. Is it because of the scriptures? Um, definitely scriptures. Mm -hmm. um, um, definitely. Also, I believe that like He gives our heart faith, and like faith isn't faith if you can see it, or if you. Mm. Like faith is hope in what we believe, uh -huh. in what we can't see. Um, like we can't see the wind, but we feel it and we know it to be true. And there's there's books about it, and so it's okay to me. That's faith is hope in what we can't see, and it's similar to the wind. Is faith, mm -hmm. as it relates to your belief, equally demonstrable as the wind? Like for, for example, I see the wind hitting your hair. Mm -hmm. I feel it on my skin we might be able to construct a test to show that there's some force moving on a piece of paper mm -hmm. or something. Mm -hmm. Are we able to detect and test faith as it relates to your certainty that this God is actually real? I believe so. I believe so. We can keep going. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, that's fine with me. Yeah, I believe so. And how, how, could we, how could we test this faith to see if it's leading you to the right conclusion? Um, well, I mean, it's been tested in the past because Jesus existed, like he was on earth like 2,000 years ago. And so when he rose from the grave, he appeared um, to multiple people. He appeared to women when he rose from the grave and then he had like at the grave and then he appeared to over 5,000 people. Mm. And so th that to me is um, definitely proof that and, and that people would die for him. Mm. I wouldn't die for anything except mm -hmm. for him. And um, So it says these things in the book, in the scripture. Yes, correct. Uh, why are you believing something written in a book? Is faith necessary to conclude that the things in the book are true? Are you hoping that the things in the book are true? I think you defined faith as hope. Um, yes, but I've also, I've come to believe it as true. And so... Um, yeah, for me, I definitely believe everything in the book to be true, uh -huh. for sure. Do you? Uh, no. Yeah? No. 
No, because um, I would need more than a book saying something is yeah. true. Sure. Like a personal experience would probably be really helpful for me. For sure. So I, I can't say that I've had anything like yeah. that. And I think if, if I were to experience something. Have you had an experience like that? Mm -mm. Really? No, I don't think so. Wow. But if I, I guess if I did, let's say, what would be a good example of something that could happen to me that I might be like, ooh, I wonder if that's that miracle stuff that, that Emily was telling well, me about. for me, it was, like I said, when I was in high school and just growing up, I thought that being a Christian, which is what I was raised into, was uh -huh. being a good person. Uh -huh. And so for me, I was just desperately trying to be perfect and trying to be good enough and measure up and really... I wasn't, and I knew I wasn't, so uh -huh. it left me in this kind of place of, this isn't what it should be, this isn't working for me, and I see these people who have joy and hope, that, uh -huh. that, that it's hard to explain, you know, but they're just full of joy, and uh -huh. you see them, it's like, what is going on? Somehow they're not in a ton of depression, or in a ton of hopelessness, or just lost, you know, and I feel like for me, in, in discovering a relationship with Christ, I was just... I mean, you know, like a relation, some have you, are you married or yes. are you in a relationship? Mm -hmm. Like the first parts of the relationship, that's so exciting or can be, you know, uh -huh. where it's like, wow. So is, if I fun. can, um, yeah, yeah. is it conceivable that somebody can, I'm kind of envisioning a woman who's walking on a trail and meeting a guy with a camera in the woods <laughs> in <laughs> India. And, and she was raised to believe that uh, Vishnu was the one true God. Mm -hmm. And she realized that, you know, I really need to figure out if this is true on my own and, and that mm -hmm. it's not, that this belief just isn't a product of my upbringing. And she goes to the university and she has mm -hmm. a personal experience with Vishnu and she has that, that feeling and she sees the good that can come from the belief. And then she even experiences things that she would, she would say are miracles. Mm -hmm. And she's concluding that, that Vishnu is real. Like this is real. I'm 100% sure that this is true. And maybe even she goes so far as to say, that faith is a part of this, that mm. I, I hope that it's real and I'm believing in something that that can't be seen. Mm. What would you say to a person like that who, who's using all the same processes that you're using but concluding that a completely different God is real? Mm. Well, I think that I would ask her about her God. I would want, I would want to get to know her personally mm. and get to know her story and her heart and do you think that she would say that her God was real and maybe even more real than yours? She very well might. Um, mm -hmm. But I think I would ask her just to tell me about her God. What is he like? Mm -hmm. How how does he influence your life? And how does, how does having a relationship with him, what does that look like played out in your life? Sure. And for me, like with having a relationship with Jesus, that's looked like him dying for my sins. And so I'm forgiven and I'm set free and I... Um, I am able to be brought to God because Jesus says that he's the way, the truth, and the life and that no one comes to the Father except mm. through Jesus. Mm -hmm. And so because of that, um, like I have been set free. And so I'm able to live in freedom. And there's a lot of other religions, and I'm not briefed in lots of other religions where there's not Same a lot here. of freedom. I'm not really an expert here. Yeah. Yet this woman would probably be able to find passages in her, her holy book that, that mm -hmm. would justify her certainty that she had it, had it right. Yeah. How, how could we, how could a neutral observer looking at both of those, your situation and hers, mm -hmm. maybe somebody even like myself mm -hmm. that wanted to figure out which of the two of you really had it right. Yeah. How could we test both claims to see who was really believing in the correct yeah. deity? Well, I think that's part of faith is um, like, when it's all said and done, we're going to find out. You know, I believe that when we die, this isn't it. We're either, you know, we're eternal beings. Can we find it out in this life? If we're eternal or not? Can we find out whether this hypothesis that you have, can we find out whether this hypothesis that you have mm -hmm. is true in this life? Because I if, found it to be true. Yeah, because if it's yeah. not and we die, we'd really have no way of reporting back to the other people who are believing this stuff that, hey, hold on a second, there's an issue here. So how can we figure out in this life that what you're believing in is true? Is faith the thing that you need? Hmm. I think that's been the thing for me, is placing my faith in Jesus and just the experience that I've had in response to that mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. the freedom and the breakthrough in my own life. Um, 
And then even just encountering him and like the community that I've experienced, I've found in the church, like, um, well, there's lots of different church experiences of people who call themselves Christians and then you hang out with them and it's like, oh, wow, mm. this just mm. it doesn't feel like what it should feel like if you're walking with God. If we were to um, really encounter that individual yeah. and she were to say, I understand that there are similarities here, but yeah. the, the way that I'm concluding that I actually have it right and Vishnu is the one true God is that faith. I take it on faith that I've got it figured out. I have a dilemma here because mm. now I see two people who are using the same method but arriving at a different conclusion. I can tell you the difference. Or well, what is thing, it? So what I'm yeah. is the Holy Spirit. So with God, there's God the Father, there's God the Son, there's God the Holy Spirit. And when I entered into a relationship with Jesus and became a child of God, like God, and I'm using a lot of Christian language, I hope that's not like, what's up, what are you saying? <laughs> I'm following um, you. Um, I had the Holy Spirit, which is God himself. So when Jesus rose from the dead, um, after he was crucified on the cross, he then sent the Holy Spirit to be with us as the helper, as the counselor, as the encourager, as the one with us. So when you encounter a true Christian, maybe, maybe not, maybe, maybe not, someone who you, like the identifier of if someone is a child of God would be if they have the Holy Spirit in them. Mm. So my hope and my prayer would be, I don't know who else you're going to encounter or who else you're going to have an interview with, but that, yeah. I don't know if you see the Holy Spirit in me. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. I don't know. That's on him. But in that, like he, Jesus, while he was here, he did miracles. He was able to heal people. He brought people from death to life. Mm. He gave sight to the blind. He, it says this in the scriptures. Yes. Okay, so one last yes. question. Sure. Okay, last question here, and then you can go on the trail. Yeah. Um, and thank you for staying extra. Appreciate oh. it. So my question is, I, I'm, I'm really intrigued by this, the concept of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Does a person have to incorporate faith in their belief in order to be sure that the Holy Spirit is a real thing? Well, I you could say the Holy Spirit is real. Well, you could be like, yeah, I think the Holy Spirit's real. But I think it would take faith, yeah. I think, mm. I think the answer, for me, it took faith. But then also, I grew up in the church and I hadn't yet had a relationship with Jesus. I just knew a lot about God. And I believed that the Holy Spirit was real, but I wasn't living for God. I was like, yeah, God, you're I got cool. You, you believed that the Holy Spirit was real because yes. you were taught it, but then now yes. today, because you've gone through all these experiences and the journey, it sounds like what you're saying is that... The faith is what put the Holy Spirit inside of me. Yeah. So now I'm able to live from the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. and not from who I was. Like he's mm. actively transforming me mm. into the image of Christ. So daily, okay. I'm becoming more and more like... the picture of Jesus who is God here as a human form 2,000 years ago and less like me when I was trying to be this perfect awesome person when I really wasn't okay you know? okay I have one more question Deal. Okay. <laughs> what else is worth talking about in my opinion <laughs> it's very important yeah it's very important so you said something that kind of caught my attention that it seems like what you were saying is that faith is required in order to conclude that the Holy Spirit is even real and is putting these things these ideas or these concepts in you or helping you figure things out mm -hmm. if faith wasn't available to you as an option would you be holding this belief what is life without faith how miserable <laughs> well, i can't imagine life to be to be available without faith if i didn't have can i be more specific sure sure if believing in things that you can't see okay wasn't available to you i'm using your definition of it mm -hmm. if hoping that this was true mm -hmm. and believing in things that that you can't see wasn't available to you as an option would you be concluding that there was a holy spirit and a god and that the scripture was real and all this stuff and there's an afterlife hmm. i don't know the answer to that because it's hard for me to fathom that um, could you take some time on the trail to think about it sure Absolutely. Okay. That'd be awesome. What's man. your name again? Anthony. Anthony, I'm yeah. really glad to meet you. It was really my pleasure. Absolutely. Thank you very, very much. What will this be used for? I have a YouTube channel, okay. and I put some of the best talks on there. Very cool. So I don't know if I have to go through my. I had a, a good. I think you're my seventh talk today. Very cool. <laughs> yeah. Um, what do you believe, Anthony? I don't know if we propose the scale of, of confidence, but uh, I'm sort of more of the view that faith 
as you've defined it, mm -hmm. is an unreliable method for concluding that mm -hmm. things are true. Mm -hmm. Because I, I see, I've talked to people who believe in Vishnu mm -hmm. and that say that I've, I, I, I am certain that Vishnu is real mm -hmm. because I'm believing in it without, and it's, I can't see it, and I'm believing in it and I'm hoping that it's true. Mm -hmm. I have faith. Faith is required in order for me to have this conclusion. Yeah. So when I look at that and then I look at you, I have no doubt about your sincerity and that you think it's true. Mm -hmm. What I'm interested in is if you've completely examined the reliability of the methods that you're using mm -hmm. to come to these levels of certainty that you have. Mm -hmm. So if you don't mind, I mean, you don't even have to answer or even respond to that, but that's kind of where I'm at. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Beautiful talk. What's your faith then? Mm, if I discovered that I was, if I had faith in something, and it's possible that I do, there are probably things that I believe um, that are true that I can't see. Like, I believe that there's life on other planets. So I guess by your definition, you could say you could say that I have faith that there's life on other planets. Mm. But uh, if you were to ask how certain I was that that was a true statement. I'd probably say 20%. Hmm. I wouldn't say 100% and there's no doubt. Yeah. But I get the impression that you would put yourself at a high degree of confidence that what you're saying is true. I would, but there's some people who wouldn't. Mm. There's some people in the Christian belief, which I'm sure you've encountered, who do struggle with doubt. And mm -hmm. that's okay. Mm -hmm. And I think I am heavy on faith because God makes us all different. And that's part of how he made me. Um, but yeah, I wish my friends were here so they could talk to you. About Send them this. through. How long will you be here? I'm gonna be leaving here probably the next, I don't know, 20 minutes, but I, oh, I come wow. here every couple days. Do you? Yeah, what time so, is it now, if you don't mind me asking? It's, oh, it's um, one. one. I've been here for three hours, so I'm, I'm getting a little are. wilted. I've got a nice pack on. Can you pack, uh, down your um, YouTube channel? Sure. I'd love to see. Yeah, for sure. Let's see. Do you live in San Antonio? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I live really close by here. So do I. I live off of... Where do you live? I am off of... Okay, yeah. Yeah. And I love this spot because it's quiet and yeah. people usually have some time to chat. How fun. That's Magna Bosco 210. That's my YouTube channel. Okay. So if you go... If you search for that on YouTube, you'll probably find my channels. You know what would be really cool is um, if you check out a couple of my videos where people who believe in different gods are saying that they believe that this is true mm. because of faith. Yeah, I'd be happy. and it's just right here? Yeah, I'm gonna, there's a guy that, I, uh, there's a video, that, uh, two videos that I did here. Let's see, I think. I and think. it was here? No, this one was at UTSA. Huh. Did you go there? No, I volunteered there for campus ministry. True? I have so many, yeah. I have so many friends that I would love to connect you with. So Kyle? Are you, Kyle. Mm. Redheaded guy, red beard. Mm -mm. Oh, I'm sorry. Crew. Crew's different. Crew. Okay. Chi Alpha is another I'm thinking Chi Alpha. There. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chi, I'm sorry. I confuse people. Yeah, Chi, Kyle are is with Crew. Are you searching crew. for yourself or you're just interested? Like, are you searching for your own? Um, searching for truth. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Cool. And I'm a little, yeah. I'm a little skeptical that faith would lead me to truth. Mm. Yeah. Because of the very reasons that we explored. So, uh, yeah, check out the channel. For sure. It's nice to meet you. It was really my pleasure. How we could I be praying for you if God was real, if he cared about you, if he loved you, which I think is true, but how, how could I pray for you? How could you pray for me? Just, I guess, do whatever you normally do. Yeah? Yeah. Can I pray for you now? Oh, I'd rather not. That's okay. <laughs> okay. But, you know, go ahead and do it at your house or whatever, or on the yeah. trail when you're doing it. I do. Um, Sounds good. Would you give some thought to the talk and, and the okay. role that faith Place. plays yeah. based on your definition of it and and how people could possibly come to erroneous conclusions by using it mm -hmm. yeah what is erroneous mistaken okay yeah it's a big word for mistaken. sorry <laughs> it's okay i don't like saying wrong because then people kind of like it's it kind of carries some it's baggage a, it's a nice way it's a confusing way to say wrong i wasn't trying to be i wasn't trying to be an obscurantist it's okay you know what that is someone who's like yeah yeah, exactly. See, I'm a feeler. I'm like, I obviously have a brain that's full functioning and 
smart but I'm I feel so deeply you're like you say a word I'm like oh yeah <laughs> you know and it's like what's babe I'm like you know in here uh -huh, uh -huh. So, anyway that was great great shot great talk and I've, I've, t I've spoken to a few people from crew at yeah. your university a lot of my friends are were in Chi Alpha and they are they're awesome people who have mm. really strong beliefs and really smart Mm. Really awesome, so. I think there's a playlist on my channel with people that I've met specifically from crew. Okay. So do you give commentary in the background of the interview? Sometimes I do. Like when the when the person walks away, uh, I do I do tend to give some thoughts. Yeah. yeah. Great. Well, it's good to meet you. Yeah, very nice to meet you too. Hope you have a good rest of the day. You as well. I hope you find the truth you're looking for. I do as well. Thank you. Absolutely. Bye bye. Okay, good talk there with Miss Emily. I would say doxastically closed. However, there were some good moments during that talk where she was scrunching up her face and pausing. And I think she said, I don't know, a couple of times. It's hard to break through that smiley, shiny exterior and that absolute certainty that some people say that they have but I think that this approach of asking questions is the best way. I used the outsider test for faith there, where we brought up the hypothetical Hindu who was also employing faith. Judging from her body language and, and the way that she was responding so quickly, I'm not entirely sure that those points landed. I'm hopeful that they do. This is one of the reasons why I encouraged her to think about the talk when she went on the trail. Hopefully she saves the prayer for later and maybe uses this time to process the conversation, but who knows. And she may even reach out and watch this video. So if she does, and she's watching this now, go ahead and leave a good comment for her and be respectful. As you know from my conversation with Daniel, who is also a member of Crew, these talks take a little while to marinate and, and settle in and help a person reflect on, on their views. So there's a very good chance that she'll be checking out this video and your comments. I'll link to the Daniel video right now, and uh, maybe she can watch that as well. Uh, I think we talked about faith when I ran into uh, Daniel and Bo on, on that university campus. So this is a belief that's based on faith, and she defined the word. I went with her definition, and it became evident, at least to me, that this methodology that she's using seems to be a little suspect, quite frankly because of the very hypothetical that I was providing with the Hindu woman. You may have noticed that she originally agreed to just chatting for three minutes. We hit the timer and she was fine with me continuing the, the talk. It seemed like she wanted to stay. A couple times I, I, was, I was giving her opportunities to leave the conversation if she wanted to, but she wanted to stay. And I, I think that's a testament to the polite nature of these street epistemology conversations. And the other thing I wanted to point out is we had crossed off personal experiences. It wasn't a factor in her confidence that her God was real. And yet we spent quite a bit of time talking about miracles and experiences. Why was that? Oh, she was asking me what I would need to see or experience. So I think that kind of revamped the whole discussion. So that may have been a little bit of a sidetrack, I suppose. Although faith was still a very large component for her for all of that stuff so i don't really think it detracted too much from the overall theme of the conversation she also offered to pray for me and that's one thing that you'll have to be prepared for i really don't like participating in that stuff because i think it gives people the impression that i'm condoning and agreeing with what they're saying i don't think it's 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 not helpful in these conversations she can pray all she wants when she's on the trail and i hope she does it after she's had a chance to reflect on the belief but i don't like encouraging that type of behavior it also caught my attention when she asked if i talk about the conversation after the fact it's kind of an odd thing to ask um, it makes me wonder if she's been watching my videos and maybe even wanted to have that conversation i don't know but that thought is going through my mind and frankly, I hope she does go to my channel and check out the videos that I've uploaded, particularly ones where people are using faith to come to completely different conclusions. I think it would be helpful for her, and I'm not worried about her coming across those at all. I hope she does.